Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Chris Christie, governor of New Jersey, finds himself in some hot water today as one of his top senior advisors may have shut down the George Washington Bridge, backing up traffic for literally miles, for days. What? It kind of reminds me of that. Like a bridge over troubled waters. Chris Christie shut the George Washington Bridge down like a bridge over troubled waters. Christie, why'd you shut it down? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it, look, I just can't. What? Well, here's the report. I'll be right back with some information, but I want you to hear it uh, from their own words. Some of the critics, those that are frustrated with Governor Chris Christie, uh, and he's going to be given a press conference later today. He is backing up all the way to the governor's mansion. Emails, texts, and other communications link several people close to Governor Chris Christie to a multi-day lane closure that caused a massive gridlock approaching the George Washington Bridge, a vital link to New York. Christie, a potential Republican candidate for president, wasn't seen in public Wednesday, but released a statement late in the day. He said, I am outraged and deeply saddened to learn that not only was I misled by a member of my staff, but this completely inappropriate and unsanctioned conduct was made without my knowledge. Top New Jersey Democrats are furious. Government does not exist so that political operatives can punish mayors or communities. And that's what happened here. In emails obtained by the Associated Press, Christie aide Bridget Ann Kelly wrote, Time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. David Wildstein, the governor's top appointee to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, wrote back, Got it. I do not believe the governor called the Port Authority and said close some lanes. But I did say I hold him responsible for the atmosphere. Now, finding that that atmosphere existed in his own office is what I find really troubling. The emails and text messages appear to have been engineered as political payback against Fort Lee Mayor Mark Sokolich for refusing to endorse Christie over his Democratic rival in last year's race for governor. How anyone can intentionally do this to my town for absolutely positively no reason other than political pettiness. Christie aide Kelly had no comment Wednesday. Wildstein and another Christie appointee to the Port Authority have since resigned. Wildstein is scheduled to testify Thursday before the state assembly, but is fighting the subpoena. Here we go, folks. All right, so Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey, obviously the leader right now as, as it relates to who could be the Republican Party nominee for President of the United States, who has been enjoying a approval rating in New Jersey of almost 70%, unheard of, as a Republican in a blue state, finds himself now uh, caught in a major firestorm because of top senior aides, top senior officials in his cabinet, in his uh, administration, shutting down three lanes of the George Washington Bridge. Now, you know, I had never been on the George Washington Bridge until um, uh, last August, actually, August of 2012, when I was in New York City and I was preaching a revival there, and we went across the George Washington Bridge. It was the first time I've ever done that. It's quite a spectacular uh, bridge, actually. Unbelievable amounts of traffic, and uh, it's a, quite a view. To think that that would be shut down during for three days or however many days it was, and, and it causing massive backups, jams, people couldn't get to work, kids couldn't get to school on school buses, trapped, couldn't get home, uh, four ambulances couldn't get to the hospital, one 91-year-old lady died. I mean, these, these are very, very, very disturbing revelations, but it's also part of the culture of America. American politics, Republicans, Democrats, it doesn't matter. Their ideal of power is is using the leverage over the people, and you and they will fight each other and slam people to gain position. 
And both parties do it, and they do it all the time. The corruption, the greed, the power-hungry uh, groups that seek office. And you can ask yourself, well, Begley, okay, what, what do we do now? Well, you can vote for Hillary Rodham Clinton if you want to. It doesn't matter. I mean, you, you do what you want to do. Who knows who will be the nominees for either party? Joe Biden? I, I, it don't matter to me. I don't care. It's not about politics. When it comes to the United States of America... It's about the new world order. It's about the one world government. And right now, all this pushing and shoving and fighting and scratching among themselves is just the setup, folks. It's the setup for what's to come, according to the word of God. There will be a one world government. He will be led by an antichrist. He'll have ten kings that report to him who will be wearing ten crowns. And those crowns will all say blasphemy. There will be a false prophet who will rise up alongside this Antichrist, helping to preach a message of Sharia law, uh, martial law, and a FEMA camp mentality. This is what's coming to the world. So don't worry about these three lanes being shut down for three days in September. It means nothing compared to what's coming. Uh, I mean, New Jersey, Chris Christie is scheduled to give a news conference later today. Uh, he has no choice but to roll over on the two, three people that uh, work for him. He's going to have to put all the blame on them. He's going to also say that the Democrats are using this uh, to just to try to poke him in the eye. But he will take no responsibility for it. But instead, you will see him with a heavy fist say that he's going to get those that are responsible and prosecute him if he has to, to the full extent of the law. Now, the only reason he won't is because they how much dirt do they have on him that they will turn around and use on him if he does. This is the game that's getting ready to take place, and the media is going to feed on it as they try to lift up their candidate for the next highest office in America. Here's the thing, folks. This is why I've said it a million times. Don't put your faith in man. Do not put your faith in man. Do not put your faith in a politician. Do not put your faith in a political party. You need to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ because you're in the world, but you're not of the world, okay? For your, the, Paul said in, in, the, in the epistles, he said these words. He said, for your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Chris Christie will give explanations to these emails, these text messages, and reveal his administration may have closed the highway lanes to exact political retribution on the mayor of Fort Lee, North, uh, New Jersey. There was likely to be a fallout for the second time in weeks, given that the governor issued a statement Wednesday saying he was outraged and deeply saddened by the revelations. He said he was misled by a key aide, and he denied any involvement. So you watch today. He will... Slam his fist maybe onto the podium and, uh, and, and guarantee to the citizens of the great state of New Jersey that he will um, get rid of, take the resignations, or prosecute those involved, that he had no knowledge of this, and this isn't the kind of man that he is. Then let the mudslinging begin. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. This is why. This is why I keep trying to point out that the current world events tell us that we're going to see corruption, greed, murder, mayhem, hatred, false witnesses, liars, deception, corruption in the world system. If you want to be a part of something much better, much purer, and much cleaner, in the kingdom of God, give your life to Jesus Christ. Let's follow Jesus. Because just like the painting that Pam McCracken did right here, he's going to lead us all to heaven. I'm going to leave this world. We're leaving here one day. Don't be left behind to deal with the wrath of God. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's show. We'll talk about this. And uh, actually, Chris Christie's press conference should be over by then, so we can, we can discuss this as well as the... The X the X one uh, flare, solar flare that, that came off the sun that is firing CMEs 
right directly to the earth and is going to hit Japan first. It's a very strong, matter of fact, it's so strong that the uh, one of the space rockets was canceled today. I'll give you all that information. We're going to talk about that, the earthquakes going on around the world, the different the 100,000 bats that fell out of the sky in Australia, all the frigid polar vortex temperatures, all the things going on around the world that are leading us to the coming of Christ. God bless. Give your life to Jesus.